Hi everyone, today I'm going to be taking you through how to export a SketchUp model into AutoCAD. Effectively, how do we get a almost free technical drawing from a digital model we've already created? First thing we need to do is we need to set up our SketchUp model ready for the export. And there's a few things we need to do. So first of all, we need to basically make the model in this 3D workspace look exactly how we want it presented on the technical drawing. So if, for example, we want an elevation of this wall here, we need to basically eliminate the other walls and get a nice uh, front on view without any perspective. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to tools and scroll right down to the bottom towards section plane. This tool will allow us to slice through our model without deleting anything. So it's perfect for setting up any file that you need to cut away for, effectively to create a technical drawing. I'm going to click. I can name my section plane, but for the most part, it doesn't particularly matter. I'm just going to click OK for now. And then I'm going to use the move tool to click and drag roughly halfway through my model. I'm not being too precise. If you did want an exact halfway cutaway, uh, then you can just put a little marker and then drag the uh, section plane straight through to it. Now that I've done that, I can go up to camera, scroll down to standard views, and for uh, to orientate the camera so that it's right onto this wall, uh, I need to actually select front in this instance. That will change as we move around the space, and you may actually need to completely freestyle the camera, depending on the shape of your room. The final thing we need to do is go up to camera and then turn on parallel projection, which basically eliminates any perspective. We completely flatten our image. I like at this point to just present it a little nicer by going to view and turning off section planes. And I also turn off axes as well because I've noticed sometimes they can appear as dashed lines in the AutoCAD file. How I've got my model set up now is perfect for exporting to AutoCAD. I'm good to go. To do that, I'm going to go up to the very top left and go to File, Export, and I'm going to export a 2D graphic. Now, if you want to, to uh, do any 3D modelling in AutoCAD, you want to export a 3D model. But for this, I just need a drawing, so I'm exporting a graphic. And I'm going to call it uh, Front Elevation. And I'm going to save it as an AutoCAD DWG, an AutoCAD drawing file, essentially. Now, when it comes to naming, we're going to be doing this for each elevation we take through. And we'll also take through a ground plan and a ceiling plan. So for this room, we would have six exports. So that's why it's important to think about how you're going to name your files, just to make it a little easier for which one you know have already been exported into AutoCAD. So here we are in AutoCAD. And I'm not going to create a template or anything like that. I'm going to go straight to Open Files, go into my Documents, and here I have Front Elevation, the drawing that I exported from SketchUp. Click on Open, and it will always ask you, this DWG file was saved by an application that was not developed or licensed by Autodesk. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, SketchUp isn't an Autodesk product, so this is why this is warning coming up. Uh, I'm just going to click Continue Opening. And there we go. Some things to point out. Sometimes it will bring in a little too much geometry and you just need to do a little cleanup. So, for example, if I zoom in over here, um, I've got a round uh, pipe here. And it's exported all the geometry that makes it up because uh, it's slightly rounded at the end. I would actually just need that outer circle for that pipe there. Uh, so that I would go and clean that up now and just delete it. And I also have um, another line going straight through the windowsill, which I don't need there. And you will kind of know uh, what you need to edit for your own model. That is it in a nutshell. So you would do this for each elevation. Now remember, even though we're importing separate files, all I have to do is copy all of this onto one big document and start laying everything out. Um, 
we can import 3D views. So for example, if you did want an isometric view of your set or your prop or whatever you're creating, uh, then you can do that. We can basically create any technical drawing from any view in our models. But obviously this tends to be the more common. So there we are. That's how to export a SketchUp file and bring it into AutoCAD.